Robert was already giving an introduction. I'm just going to tell you a bit more about it, how far we've come and what we're going to do in this session. And then Dr. Brian will tell you more about the goals and then Dr. Hani will speak as well. And after that we will sit together in five groups and discuss the goals and collect your feedback. So, um, maybe we can get them on the screen. Well, you will get paper copies and we also send them in the WhatsApp group. What we have written now is 10 interfaith development goals, 10 IDGs. And the whole idea started, as Robert was saying, with um, the realization that the, the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals, they're not really sufficient from an interfaith perspective. So what we want to do is to complement this and sort of to fill up the gap, um, sort of filling up um, and continuing the work of SDG number 16. And um, the aim of this Today is that, as Robert said, that we will launch either, well it depends on how far we get, but either a draft copy or in the best of all scenarios, like a final version, um, that will happen during dinner. So we have this day to, to work quite a lot on this. Um, we started to work with this on, uh, in December, when we had our APRI conference in Sydney. Uh, in Brisbane, sorry, <laughs> in Australia. And um, since then we have been working in a team of, of people from all over the world on them. But this is really a draft. So what we need is your feedback now. Um, you will get a copy later on. And uh, Dr. Brian, Dr. Brian, do you want to continue? Tell us a bit more about it. Sure. All right. Who here, this is the first time you will have looked at these, uh, these goals? Raise your hand. All right, that's, that's what we figured. There'd be quite a few that this would still be new. Um, so the challenge is how do we get your productive input when it's such a, a new idea to you? Um, do you have a process in, in, when we have them broken up into the five groups? So they're just going to be focusing on a couple of them, right? Okay, very good. So what I can do is just give you a, a broad overview of um, a big picture of, of these goals. My, um, there are a couple reasons why I see this as, as an important document, and you might want to take note of this as you, as you work to see how well it's incorporated into the goals. One is uh, leadership matters. It really does. Leadership is only effective if it's leading people somewhere. And when that's a big goal, when that's a big thing to which you're leading people, that can be very effective in rallying lots of people together. You can get a broad a, a, a array of participants um, working towards that goal. And these, these goals are designed to be that, to set very big pictures. Why they are very important to activate is they give um, voice to the work that we're doing. It is wonderful to come together and meet and discuss and get to know each other and build. But it's powerful to come together when we know what we're going to be discussing and working towards. When we have a way of articulating who we are as Acway and what we're working towards. So look in these goals to see how well it does uh, articulate what we're trying to do and measure that against your your thoughts on, on this great work. And then finally, the third reason why I see the IDGs as being very important. It's related to uh, Rawad, uh, his comments. He's a man with great vision and um, uh, enormous experience, lots of energy, as well as insight into, into these issues. And he's put his finger on something that's very important, which if we want to have success in the Sustainable Development Goals, we have to take um, religious, spiritual practice and perspectives into consideration on it. We have to. And, and currently there's no platform in doing that, although the United Nations acknowledges the importance of it. In terms of the SDGs, there's been no articulation on how to do that as I've seen. And this is one very good way of doing that. This is one way of saying, look, we want to contribute to it, 
here's something that's missing that we can bring um, to doing so. So I, um, you don't have to have a knowledge of what the Sustainable Development Goals are, that's what SDG stands for, to, to assess these. But you might want to keep that in mind, that these are ways of uh, helping achieve that, filling in an important gap, but also perhaps expanding um, what may have been missed in those Sustainable Development Goals. Thank you. Dr. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, reading the interface development goal a few minutes ago, I think the most important challenge is to believe in it. If we don't believe in it, forget about it. Whether it's one goal or 100 goals. So it was one goal. Most important thing is to believe in it. Whether it's one goal or 100 goals. It's not a stage management photograph, or show, or declaration. Big organizations made many declarations in the past. Nothing happened afterwards. Nothing happened. So if we want to be practical, we have to act on what we believe in. I will mention one or two or three goals, which is strong interface cooperation. This is extremely important. Because most of the interface meeting is about stage managing, stage managed photographs. <laughs> well, I've been in this business for the last 20 years, and they became sick of it. You see, this is, should not be there. Even if we stick to one goal like this one, and we succeed in it, we can change the philosophy of thinking of those leaders. The second crucial one which is youth. There is no way of not involving youth. No way at all. Whether the interface leaders likes it or not. Time is changing and you have to change them. The third one, which is access to interface education, is some governments are preventing faith education. It's a big challenge, okay, which we need to look at it. Some governments, some governments are preventing faith education. Religious has to be seen as a part of peace and part of the solution, not as a part of problem. It's another big challenge. You see, you put 10 challenges on the table, which is very difficult to deal with them. Visibility and protection of religious minorities. Definitely. 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 No matter who you are, I have to protect you, to respect you, to engage with you, because you are part of my larger community. If I can come back to conclude, because you know much time, out of the 10 interfaith development goals, we have to be very serious, to be committed. We don't have to work. Millennium development goals was eight, isn't it? We have not achieved them in 15 years. And now we have done something called SDG, Sustainable Development Goals, 17 or 16. Seven. Hey, hey, hey. Seventeen. One seven, huh? Seventeen, seventeen, huh? You see, and this is governments. Not small institutions, not interfaith institutions. We have to be very realistic in our discussion of the big dream. Because if we put big dreams on the table and we fail to achieve it, we'll demoralize the youth. I wish the success. Yeah, Yana, mm -hmm. come in, Yana. I give you the leadership. <laughs> Now she is a, she's a queen. <laughs> I'm the king. Okay? Thank you, Dr. Ali. Thank you, Dr. Brian. All right, let's work and do everything so Dr. Hani will not be disappointed in us and that we actually do work and not only take nice pictures and eat wonderful food and live at a wonderful hotel. So what we will do now is to split up in five groups. Um, you just sort of try to, to have approximately the same size of groups. This is group number one. 
We'll meet up here. Number two, all the way in the back. Number three, number four, all the way in the back, and number five here. And every group has one secretary who will take notes, notes, and one uh, sort of conversation leader who who uh, will organize. Um, every group gets two goals. I will hand out paper copies, and um, then what we want you to do is to read through the two goals which you will get, and leave your comments. And the secretary will meet up with us, with uh, Lilia and me, and we will take in your feedback. And then today, during the day, we will um, revise the draft and um, hopefully be able to present a version tonight. Do you have any questions? All right, so please split up in groups, and I'll come to all of you groups and, and Lilia and um, give you the goal which you will uh, be working with.